Thanks for the ride. Hey, d didn't you say something about giving me gas money? Bye. Out of fucking again. Doctor, Do doctor, Dr. Coffin, the medication didn't, the whole bottle, yes, probably an hour of sleep at night thanks to this damn noise in my head. What are my other options? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, you gotta remember, I don't actually have a stellar insurance. <laughs> you know what? Thanks. I'll live. He assumed. Well, according to the internet, I'm dying of at least ten equally terrifying brain ailments. Well, you can hope that whatever kills you is at least exotic. Positively. Ho-hum. Dead and boring. <laughs> Story of my life. Keith, seriously, either stop worrying or go get a CAT scan. Alas, neither one can I afford. Well, I... Oh, shut up! Hello?
Hello there, Heath. My name's Lennon. Well, no it's not. But you can sure as sugar call me that. Now, I'm sure you have a whole bouquet of questions about what's going on in your life, or rather, in your head. Am I right? Exactly. Now, if you'll just follow along. Take your pointer finger and trace all the way back here. Do you feel something? That'll be the implant. Please press 1 on your keyboard if you'd like me to continue. <laughs> I'm kidding. This is obviously a recording and you have no sense of input whatsoever. Nope. But regarding your implant, please think back, if you are able, to the year 1999. A time of one UK scares and pre-housing crisis confidence in cherishing life as we knew it. Your parents decided to take their celebration of life to Rome, New York. That's right. Woodstock 99. There they enjoyed all the festival had to offer before they came across our tent. In their inebriated state, the legal waivers we offered meant nothing. Green lights and signatures to all. And then came you. Some people here wondered if you knew you were conceived at a music festival. We have footage of that too, if you'd like. <laughs> Kidding, of course. We'd rather not involve your family in all this. Now, Heath, your implant is malfunctioning. It can happen from time to time, but this appears to be more serious and can have detrimental health effects if left untreated. Now, what we need from you is for you to walk out your front door, go down to the corner, and wait for a vehicle to approach, and then simply get in. We'll have your implant replaced and you return safely home within one business day. Now, we cannot guarantee your health or safety if you decline our offer, or decide to speak openly about any of this to anyone. But of course, this is all voluntary. You yourself signed a waiver and a release a few years back. It's amazing the things that people will sign when they think they've won a free Xbox. We hope to see you soon. Fine. What the f